on in there. Chief Gerald Spears speaking here. We have a, a small agenda here, but I'm just going to take up a little bit of your time here. We have a, they call it the old general council back in those days, 1918. Um, they said, Chiefs, <laughs> can't read or write. Don't you win? So, the only way to recognize us is we had a legitimate form of government elected by the people. For the, you know, that's good. You guys did good. I commend you guys on that. You always make the right choice all the time. And, well, looks so far the Chiefs are back again. Thanks to you people. Be good. My name is Greeting, Chief Greeting Spirits. <clears throat> the reason why I was chosen to be one of the chiefs and there was not community even from way back. And I was, my grandpa was Alfred Wynn. He was a chief and then I was, then my uncle Percy was there. <clears throat> and then he passed away and then I took over the chief business. My grandpa used to say that some of these days you're going to be run, running my <clears throat> position. He says, I was a little bitty guy. I used to wonder why he used, he used to say that. He told me a lot of stuff from way back. He's old man. But I had a little problem speaking. I had a little stroke in 97. Sometimes my speech gives out. <clears throat> but I'll try to try to do the best I can today. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I was chosen to be one of the chiefs for my people. I I do help out a lot of lot of lot of communities, the four communities here in the reservation. I also help out a lot of people that come from the outside to come and see me, asking for guidance. And I <clears throat> also do the healing ceremonies for my people that are sick. I do take care of a lot of people and I do a lot of traveling. <clears throat> I learn from other communities and, and uh, you know, a spiritual leader. I was chosen to be one of the spiritual leaders. After a drum keeper, eagle staff carrier, pipe carrier, a little bit of everything. <clears throat> and I always thank the spirits for everything, but they gave me, they watch over me, and I when I speak for my people, and my door is always open for everybody that needs help. <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm willing to sit down with somebody that wants to <clears throat> ask questions after during during the meals and stuff like that. The chief will be. Here to, to visit you is too, whatever you you want to know. And we're willing to help out anybody that's <coughs> that needs help. Drummers, the boys, all the subway drummers over there. But I'm asking Johnny Smith to sing the chief song. And I'm, I'm going to use my drum to do the healing song for our elders. <coughs> I guess there's a lady that was rushed to a Fargo yesterday has kidney problems. <clears throat> I'm gonna pray for that lady. Asking for guidance from the spirits to go doctors with this lady. My wife is like that. She's been sick. Her kidney kind of gave up. She only has one. And she's doing a lot better. <clears throat> I use a drum to doctor my wife. And I do talk to a lot of people, my Indian people, with my drum. Thank you. You're right. Uh, Miigwitz, Miigwitz Chiefs, uh, Miigwitz for everybody, everybody for listening. Uh, a lifetime of service um, representing the Red Lake Nation in a manner that, they, that has been, 
they've been bestowed upon. They have to live in a good way, uh, help each other, and they, these gentlemen truly do that. Uh, ne next on the agenda here is uh, we're going to be uh, presenting our hereditary chiefs with some plaques uh, for their in honor of recognition of, of their service to the council here, of service to us as people. So I'd like to ask Mr. Tommy J to come on up with here with me and present to you our hereditary chiefs with these plaques.